Welcome everybody to the <laughs> Portland Public Schools third annual Seal of Biliteracy ceremony. Uh, my name is Carlos Gomez. I am the Director of Language Development for the Portland Public Schools. We are recording today's events to share with others who might not be able to join us today. Uh, and today we are gathered to celebrate um, the commitment to multilingualism uh, by our students, by their teachers, by their families, and by our community. Uh, the pathways to biliteracy are numerous, but the destination is always the same, a deeper human experience. Uh, the journey to biliteracy often starts at a young age. Um, it's characterized by hard work, uh, and it's filled with joys and hardships along the way. Uh, so today, given the challenging events uh, in the world, uh, I think it will be inspiring for all of us to hear from our youth, our future leaders. Uh, the program today will include um, hearing from some of our students and some of our district leaders. Uh, you will learn a little bit about the seal of biliteracy in the hopes that uh, we may have more uh, seal of biliteracy recipients in the future. Uh, we have a little bit of a surprise ending for you, so stick around. Um, and uh, at the end, we will also open our chat room for you to share your celebratory remarks. So um, to start off, uh, we will have our first of three student speakers. Uh, Melian Bora is a senior at Deering High School. And um, we'd like to welcome Melianne and remind you to please unmute yourself, Melianne. And um, please, uh, you, you have something to share with us. So we look forward to, to your comments. Go ahead. Okay, thank you so much. I came to the new estate state from DRC on February 18, 2017, with my mother and my siblings. I learned French in my country at school, because all of our schools in Congo DRC teach in French. French is one of our first international languages in my country. I can understand when someone speaks in French, and I can also speak, write, read in French. I can have a full conversation with a person who speaks in French. At home, we speak French, Lingala, and Swahili. When I came here in the USA, I didn't know how to speak, write, read in, in English. I started learning English here in the US at Daring High School. All of the teachers I met at school helped me a lot to learn English. I started three years ago when I was a freshman. Using the different languages gives me a chance to be interpreter for those people who do not speak English, so I can help to translate for them locally. I remember one day I came from school and I was working downtown to get the bus on my way back home. I saw one family at the metro bus station, and they asked me if I could help them to interpret for them in French to English to help the person who works at the station to understand that they want to buy a transit pass for the bus. Doing that action makes me feel very helpful to the society. During this past summer, I worked as an interpreter volunteer to the program of middle school summer languages academy to help interpret for the students from english to french lingala and swahili i was happy during doing that because i give my time and energy to help those students to learn english that is really meaningful to me to do sacrifices for all the people to see how they succeed I am excited about using my language skills to investigate the world. I want to be a flight attendant, using my different languages to travel around the world. With my language skills, give me the advantage to communicate with other people and 
be able as to assist them according to their needs. I believe learning English helped me integrate and nav navigate the American system. For instance, I'm able to understand I'm able to understand different people and their perspectives. In conclusion, my journey to education has been challenging given the fact that I transitioned from a French speaking country to English. Language has been a barrier, but has been able to overcome the barrier through the education that I'm receiving. I believe being mutual multilingual will provide me and in different aspects it also helped me understand people and carry a sense of diversity thank you and i invite our panelists to unmute themselves and a big round of applause melianne thank you so much Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And um, we are lucky to have you. Um, so um, we, some of you might be asking, what is the seal of biliteracy? Um, in, a, in a nutshell, it is a formal recognition and award by the Portland Public Schools and the state of Maine to a high school student who has attained proficiency in English literacy and similar skills in one or more other languages by graduation. Um, you, you will see on the screen here what the seal and the certificate looks like that will be awarded today. Um, we have over 50 seniors that we are celebrating today and you will hear their names in just a few moments. Uh, the recognition of attaining by literacy becomes part of the permanent transcript and diploma for our high school students that receive it. It is recognized by employers and universities. Uh, students who have the seal of by literacy and uh, choose to go to the University of Maine will get college credit, up to eight credits um, in many cases. And um, today's recipients, although we would have loved to have given this to you in person, you will receive your medal and your certificates in the mail over the next few weeks. Um, as, as you'll hear from our other student speakers and you heard from Eliane, the pathways to um, the seal of biliteracy are varied. Uh, some students are heritage language speakers who learn English. Some of our recipients today are English speakers who study a world language. Um, in many cases, students uh, who have maintained their home, who have maintained their home language and their culture, uh, or they have embraced other cultures and languages um, as their own. So, uh, my advice to uh, all of uh, all of our students today, both as a language teacher and a language learner myself use it or lose it maintain your language maintain your culture be proud and be open to others cultures as well so um hopefully we'll have many more recipients in the future uh we will turn our attention in just a moment to our next student speaker uh and this uh will be via video and i will share my screen and hopefully um, you will be able to see this video. It is uh, Elsa Di Giovanni uh, from Casco Bay High School. So let's, um, let's see if this works. Hi, my name is Elsa Di Giovanni. I've been taking Spanish classes since third grade. I'm gonna read my essay for the Seal Bioliteracy. Through, to, through learning two languages, Spanish and English, I have been able to connect deeply and learn from the people in my life. People who don't look like you in places you've never been to seem distant and unfamiliar until you understand someone else's perspective. I've learned English from my parents and teachers for all of my life. Learning the grammar and vocabulary needed to organize and construct sentences. 
I've learned Spanish in school ever since third grade, slowly building the ability to speak, write, and comprehend. In high school, I took three years of Spanish. One of my favorite projects was when I wrote an me object memoir, and then my whole class went to Boston to meet with students in a bilingual school who had also written essays to share and celebrate our work. My senior year, I am doing an independent study of two friends. We have read the book, Cuando Era Puerto Riqueña, for the last couple months. Writing summaries of each chapter, and then, and we are going to com be completing our first trimester with an essay. Through, all throughout my school career, I have written, given presentations, researched, and listened in English. I interview people, learning about their unique stories in English. I have used English and Spanish to recognize others' perspectives. I have learned about the culture of Guatemala by spending time and talking with, in Spanish and English with Eduardo. We cooked elotes locos, a snack that is frequently eaten in the, in the country. We have also cooked rice, beans, and other foods from the region. He has also described how they celebrate various holidays. On people's birthdays, it is a tradition to wake people up early in the morning to sing, sing to them. On Christmas, the whole town uses fireworks to celebrate, and on September 16th, their day of independence, there's a parade. Some things about the country are very different from my home country, and I have learned to appreciate the beauty of the differences. Often, I also learned about values that I see reflected in both cultures. We discuss all of this in both languages. He also taught me specific language using Guatemala. Through all this information that I learned, I was able to connect deeply with him and learn that so much of his person was influenced by where he grew up. I understand his perspective of the world so much more clearly because I understood where he came from. I used English and Spanish to investigate the world. My family has always loved the travel, and we have frequently visited Spanish-speaking countries in South and Central America. As a kid, we traveled to Costa Rica. Although I wasn't able to speak Spanish at all then, I was able to hear my dad attempt to communicate as well as the local people in the country. I saw many animals that visited, that lived in the country which fascinated me. I have also visited Nicaragua. We stayed in a very poor part area of the country. I learned about how people live their lives by taking public transportation and going into the small town. My family also went to a woman's house where she taught us how to make tortillas. And most recently, I traveled to, to Cuba. We visited local art stores and saw handmade art. We also went to various landmarks and learned about this, the history of Cuba. We had a guide and I practiced my Spanish with him. I have been very fortunate to travel and have used my language to explore the countries I have visited. Overall, learning both Spanish and English has widened my perspective of the world and the people living in it. Thank you. All right, the panelists, let's unmute ourselves and give um, a big round of applause. Elsa Di Giovanni, excelente, muy bien, gracias. Thank you. Um, so it is my pleasure now to introduce uh, Superintendent Javier Botana, who has a few remarks for our Seal of Biliteracy students. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Good afternoon. Everyone, as everybody here probably knows, the Portland Public Schools is the most linguistically diverse school district north of Boston and perhaps throughout northern New England. We're all very proud of this diversity and today's event is one very concrete way of recognizing and honoring that diversity. Currently, we have 61 languages, 61 languages spoken by our students in the district. Many of these languages are also identified by the US State Department as critical languages because they are essential to our diplomatic relations, national security, and economic development. As you heard earlier, this is our third year offering this award. Portland Public Schools launched this in 2018 under Carlos uh, Gomez's leadership. And I like to think that we brought others along with us as the state of Maine added the seal of biliteracy last year. And of course, needless to say, this is very different of a ceremony from what we've done the previous two years. We're meeting remotely through video conferencing, and I will not personally be able to shake your hands 
and congratulate you for your accomplishments. As you know, the world that we live in seems so different from the world that we lived in in the past two years. It's also worth noting that five of our recipients took their examination remotely during our school closure. Let's be clear, the importance of bilingualism is only larger at this time. So much of what is working and not working in this time is directly related to our ability, to the ability of different people to understand each other and work together. Across the world today, researchers are working with each other to develop a vaccine, to develop treatments, and to learn from each other's experiences. Across the world, people from different backgrounds are joining hands together and asserting that we must stand together everywhere to change historical patterns of racism, oppression, and inequality. Today, we're all excited to present the seal of biliteracy distinction to our over 50 students. Some students receiving this award, as you heard earlier, are um, students who bring with them linguistic assets that they've acquired through learning the language of their parents. Other students, thanks to our amazing staff and programming, have acquired a second language in their second language classes, in their world language classes. By recognizing students who have achieved proficiency in a language or in two, in addition to English, we're making a statement that being bilingual is an asset that will serve our students well as they enter post-secondary education, the military, or any profession. Being bilingual also expands one's perspectives and connections to people who may be different from us. As one of our students, Ava Speck, wrote in an essay, quote, by literacy allows connections to be made across cultures and language divides. An understanding between people of different languages and backgrounds provides the ability to work together toward the common good of our world, end quote. Facility in another language supports students' learning of English and can help them acquire a third or a fourth language. This award reminds us that our mission is to add, not subtract, languages. In fact, our group today has seven students who earn seals in more than two languages. We also hope that by awarding the seal of biliteracy, we're making a statement to younger students, parents, and community members who speak a language other than English at home, that it's important to maintain the language of our parents' homeland. And I say that as someone who feels very, very fortunate to have been able to retain my native Spanish growing up. I would like to recognize the members of the Seal of Biliteracy Committee who worked to bring the plan to implement this award to fruition. I particularly would like to thank Carlos Gomez and Professora Anne-Marie Orth for their passion and dedication to this program. So congratulations to all of our Portland Public School students who are working to achieve proficiency in any of the five languages that we offer in our schools. And I would like to ask all of you to join me in recognizing and congratulating the 51 Portland Public School students who are receiving their seals in 14 different languages. Amharic, Arabic, Dari, French, Kinyarwanda, Kurundi, Lingala, Portuguese, Somali, Spanish, Swahili, Tagalog, Urdu, and Vietnamese. Congratulations to all of you. And now I will turn it back to Mr. Gomez. Thank you. Superintendent Botana, let's all unmute. Big round of applause for all of our recipients that we will announce in just a moment. Uh, so this is uh, the moment. And um, we would like to um, ask each principal from each of the high schools to read the names of their students. Um, and we will start with uh, Deering High School. And as you read, um, the names we will share on the screen who uh, our recipients are. So we will start with Dr. Ahmed, uh, co-principal at Deering High School. Thank you. 
So thank you everyone and good evening. Congratulations to all of you. I'm so happy to be with you tonight to celebrate with your, for your success. Not only you learned another language, but you are showing the world that you know another language. And that's another step. Many of you came to this, to this country with the assets, having another language or other languages. And your contributions to this country is amazing. We want you here and we, your presence will make our community better. Others worked hard to learn another language in our schools, as Mr. Botana said. And you are all amazing. And by, I cannot talk enough about having another language and how it is an asset. Uh, so congratulations. And our students, I will go over the list of our students who got uh, bilateral, seal of bilateral so, uh, literacy. And Angel Migizi Sawahili, Joseph Jadborn, Spanish, Charles Calia Bruce, Spanish, Cleo Dileno, Spanish, Daniela Aire, Aire Dare and Urdu, Sodoba Aire, Dare and Urdu, Faiza Wombo, French and Sawahili, Isaac Mbaya, French. Janela Marie Rich, Tagalog, Yola Inzuzi, French, Khadra Okash, Somali, Kiana Lee, Vietnamese, Larry Nezayemana, Sawahili, Rwanda, Libby Sarapa, Spanish, Maliana Bora, French, Sarah Regans, Spanish, Sumaya Shoai, Somali, and David Musabwa, Swahili. And unmute, let's unmute and big round of applause for our Deering High School Seal of Biliteracy recipients. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Uh, next, we will go to uh, Derek Pierce, principal at Casco Bay, to share with us the recipients from Casco. And um, Mr. Pierce, if you could unmute yourself, and uh, our other panelists will be muted while you speak. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gomez, and thank you, uh, all attendees and uh, Superintendent Batana and fellow principals. It's a great honor to be here. This is one of the highlights of the year for me. I'm so proud to be part of a district that recognizes its global citizens in this way and has taken the lead in the state and uh, even beyond in recognizing the value of students who are biliterate and more. And it's uh, a great honor to be in the presence of so many unbelievably talented seniors who are gonna go out in the world and use these skills uh, to help us communicate in a way that we have not done as well um, in the past. So I'm, I'm super hopeful on a night like tonight to see all the skills that you all are bringing into the world. And I thank you for all the hard work that led to the, the talents you're now um, displaying. And so I'll wait for my list from Senora Orth and share with you the Casco Bay recipients of this great honor, which by the way, has the best looking medal in all the land. The Seal of Biliteracy is one good looking award. So here are the recipients of the Casco Bay High School, uh, where the Portland Public Schools Seal of Biliteracy from Casco Bay High School. Elchide Desalegne Amharic, Jonathan Regema, French, Abdirazak Omar, French, AJ Albasha, Arabic, Ella Ferguson, Spanish, Elsa Di Giovanni, Spanish, Gabriel Gomez, Spanish, Hamdi Adam, Somali, Johan Sifa, French, and Lingala, Siri Pierce, Spanish, Halim Moldaver, French, Kati Flores, 
Spanish, Kelly Nibayubaye, French, Prita Akimana, French, Kang Lee, Vietnamese, Oliver Compton, Spanish, Samira Sharif, Somali, Ana Jacques, Portuguese, and Josie Senga, French. Congratulations to all the recipients of the Seal of Biliteracy. Hey, Casco Bay, thank you very much, Mr. Pierce. And uh, we will now go to Portland High School and Principal Sheila Jepson. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gomez, and uh, thank you to all of those who uh, are here as panelists, uh, staff members who are here uh, recognizing um, all of these amazing students. Uh, we know that communication is so important in our world and that you have the languages that you have uh, gives us all hope for the future. I, I wish you well and know that you're gonna be, you're gonna go on to do amazing things. Um, and so the students from Portland High are Thank you, Anne Marie. Chrysolite Emello, French. Plamidi Ningulala, French. Obed Nutumba, Portuguese. Elena Legier, Spanish. Alex Mayones, Spanish. Lucy Med, Spanish. Maro Suguye, French. Jean Riggins, Spanish. Emma Conrad, Spanish. Jondal Norris, Spanish. Lloyd Vumpa, Portuguese. Carl Igiriki Wishaka, French. Jijo Kitenga, French. Ben Cox, Spanish. Congratulations. Thank you, Portland High School. And congratulations to all of our Seal of, Bi uh, Seal of Biliteracy recipients. Um, next, we have uh, the chair of the Portland Public School Board, uh, Mr. Roberto Rodriguez. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, and thank you everyone for joining us. Um, first of all, congratulations to all of the recipients of this year's Seal of Biliteracy Award. Uh, of all the recognitions that we give our students in Portland Public Schools, uh, this one is a truly special one for me. Uh, ever since we started awarding uh, the Seal of Biliteracy in the district, um, I've tried to be present for this ceremony. Uh, and often during the year, I'll bump into Carlos Gomez around the district and I'll always ask him, uh, how many are we giving out this year? How many have applied? Um, and he'll humor me with updates uh, every, so, every so often. I uh, always look forward to seeing the growing number of recipients each year and learning what different languages are being recognized. And of course, enjoying a feeling of immense pride for you, uh, our students, the recipients. I'm proud to be in a district that values and recognizes by literacy achievements for all our students and that views our foreign language speakers as assets to the districts and highlights the importance of reinforcing our home languages. This is such an important aspect of this award for me. And like Superintendent Botana, I've been able to retain my Spanish language skills, although my proficiency is yet to be determined. <laughs> uh, I am very proud of how dads allowed me to hold on to my culture in so many different ways, how that allows me to connect with my community in a unique, deep, and meaningful way. And I think that your biliteracy now allows you to enjoy those same uh, valuable assets in your own lives. Being bilingual, it's like having a superpower. Uh, you've heard all the benefits from improved cognitive function, increased job opportunities, potential preference in, in college applications, and so much more. And so in this Zoom meeting right now, there's about 60 superheroes. <laughs> and your biliteracy in combination with your youth put you in this unique position to change the world. You will contribute to our global economic endeavors 
you will bring communities together with your deeper understanding of different cultures and your ability to communicate outside of your immediate circles. And I want you to know that I, it feels good knowing that you are tomorrow's leaders. It, it gives us a sense of hope uh, and pride to know that we're in your hands. I appreciate the reflections that Superintendent Botana made a few moments ago of how unfortunate it is that this ceremony is being held virtually and not in person for it's, I think it means a lot to, to see you face to face and to share uh, the immense pride that this district and all these administrators and teachers have for what you, our students, have accomplished. Um, but for what is worth, even through this virtual meeting, a big, strong, and powerful congratulations to you. Uh, keep going, reinforcing, and holding on to those language skills. You will reap the benefits. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. You will reap the benefits. So to close, uh, desde el fondo de mi corazón, los felicito inmensamente por, por lo que han uh, por, por, por el, el sello de, de biling, bilingüismo que están recibiendo y les deseo todo el éxito en su vida y en todo, todo lo que ustedes este, eh, empiezan a, a, a completar con su uh, con sus uh, ¿cómo se llama? con sus uh, <ríe> con su uh, ¿cómo se llama? con su <ríe> conocimiento de otros lenguajes So, felicidades una vez más. Muchas gracias, señor Rodríguez. Thank you very much. Um, we are nearing um, the conclusion of our program, but we have uh, one more, a few more important speakers, uh, including our uh, Portland High School student, uh, Lloyd Bumpa, who will share some, some thoughts. Thank you. Uh, and Lloyd, you're unmuted and ready to go. Thank you. Portuguese is technically my first language because I was born in Angola. When I was six years old, my family and I moved to South Africa. South Africa is an English speaking country for the most part and the transition from Portuguese to English was easier for me than it was for my mom. But because my mom had to learn English, we all grew to the habit of speaking English at home. We spoke Portuguese occasionally, but for a while English was all I spoke and soon enough, I knew it better than I did Portuguese. After finishing second grade to seventh grade, I could choose which foreign language I wanted to learn. I chose Portuguese because I thought that my Portuguese definitely needed improvement. I took Portuguese for two years, and that is how I learned to write better in Portuguese. I understand Portuguese well, but I didn't grow up in Angola, and I never really had to read or write in Portuguese. Relearning Portuguese was definitely a challenge. And I had a teacher from Portugal, so her accent was a little different from mine. But there are many other Angolan students in my class. Those years were great because I got to speak Portuguese more than I would anywhere else. When we went back to visit Angola before coming to the US, there were many people that wanted to learn English. So we put up desk and I decided to teach some people to the best of my abilities how to speak English. Um, the people who were interested in learning English did not show up and I'll have to guess that they probably did not have the time to come. Instead, I helped my cousins and friends whom were already taking English classes. And although after I left, no one was a fluent speaker, I think I made a little impact. Whenever I call my cousins, we always speak in English and it has definitely improved a lot since the first day we met. I use both Portuguese and English at school for countless reasons. Sometimes I translate for someone or for a school event that needs more than one translator. Sometimes I translate for parents and other times it's for students. I try to speak to new students so that they can join clubs at school that they might like. I explain each club and sport that they might like, especially the ones that I'm in. What normally happens is that the new student joins at least one club at school, which is my goal. 
I believe that being multilingual is always an advantage and there will always be times that it will be beneficial. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lloyd. And we can all unmute uh, to, to thank Lloyd and uh, our three student speakers. Um, we are going to conclude here in a moment. Um, I'm going to hand this off to Ms. Anne-Marie Orth, our language specialist and world language teacher uh, for Portland Public, Public Schools. Uh, she will have some parting words and some thank yous on all of our behalf, but I just want to take a big, uh, a moment for a big thank you uh, to Senora Orth for all of her efforts to make this moment a reality. This is a, this is a lot, and um, thank you so much for, for everything, your commitment to this, Senora Orth. So take it away. All right. Am I in big speaker view or gallery view? Is that good? So in the field of language learning and teaching, there is a lot of focus placed on output, especially speaking and writing. How else do you know if someone really knows a language? We often forget about the importance of listening and comprehending. This is how most of us started as babies, listening to our mother tongue and or watching all the nonverbal visual cues without actually producing language. How do we return to this state of pure listening, learning to listen better in another language and our own language and actually understand one another? Now, more than ever, we need to make the effort to make these connections and be curious. We can't settle for what we think we know. Learning other languages breaks us out of this kind of thinking. This year's seal ceremony is especially gratifying to me as six of you I taught for three years in middle school. Any teacher would be proud, but more importantly, you should be proud. Congratulations to all of you who have managed to maintain your mother tongue while learning English. Congratulations to all of you who have managed to learn another language in addition to English. So it is up to you, SEAL recipients, what you choose to do with your multilingualism. Will you use it to connect, create, listen, organize, interpret, take action? Whatever it is you do, remember that in the words of Brazilian educator Paulo Freire, language is never neutral. I hope you are able to use your multilingual powers to be empowered and empower others. So in closing, I wanted to take a moment to give a special thank you to all of our ELL and world language teachers in the district for teaching our students and encouraging them to continue with their native languages and second or third or fourth languages. I also wanted to thank Josephine and Monique for helping me test students for the seal of biliteracy. And finally, I wanted to give a special shout out to Carlos Gomez, our director of language development for his unwavering dedication and commitment to language, to language learning and his amazing way with words. So now we are gonna conclude by hearing from other SEAL recipients in our first ever SEAL of Biliteracy video. We're really excited about this. Um, so I think Carlos, you're going to share your screen and um, afterwards we will um, hopefully open the chat bar for the audience to type in congratulatory remarks. Thank you very much. Senor Not Orth, um, we'll see if we can roll this. Salam, nama Daniel Arieya, so the bond model is Madaria. Ah, I am very familiar with the Sura Buton Kadari Gap Mitsadan. Um, and I think, I think knowing more than one language has many advantages and the most important thing to me is that uh, we can connect to different people from different cultures if you know more than one language. Um, and it's just like one person living two lives. Um, you can talk to different people when you know their language and learn um, a lot about their culture, about new cultures. And, and that's the most important thing to me. 
Thank you. Hola, me llamo Lucy Med y empecé a aprender el español en el tercer grado. I love to speak another language because it allows me to communicate with new people and be exposed to new ideas. Hola, me llamo Kiana Lee y me empecé a aprender español cuando era ocho años. Um, I'm super grateful to be able to speak other languages because I love being able to connect with other cultures and just being able to build connections with other people. I find that language is such a good way to just build connections and really be able to establish the world around you. And I strongly suggest that if you want to learn a language, you should you should pursue it 100%. Hola, me llamo Siri. Empecé a aprender el español cuando tenía cinco años en el jardín de infantes. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to learn another language. Learning Spanish has helped me understand how language can influence and shape culture, and I look forward to continuing to study Spanish in college. Bonjour, moi c'est Jijo Kitenga et je parle le français depuis que je suis toute petite. Chez moi à la maison, mes parents m'ont appris à parler le français. Et lorsque je suis arrivée aux États-Unis en 2017, j'ai commencé à apprendre l'anglais. Je parle l'anglais et le français en même temps. Voilà, merci. Hola, me llamo Charlie Scalia Bruce. Me commencé espagnol cuando yo era um, diez o nueve cuando yo tengo diez o nueve años. I believe that learning multiple languages is important because communication is the foundation of our world and being able to talk to people and empathize with people through communication and through speaking to them, especially through like another language that isn't your own, it allows them to feel more comfortable and it allows you to grow as a person. And that is why this seal means so much to me. Shout out to Senora Orth, Senora Watson, and Senora Eiferman for teaching me Spanish. Salut, Jambo Mote. Uh, je m'appelle Joanne Sifa et uh, j'ai appris le français depuis que je suis née. Uh, je viens du Congo RDC à Kinshasa. Uh, learning languages has definitely been hard, but it's definitely been worth it. Now I'm able to uh, learn a bunch of other things. Um, so thank you. Hola, me llamo John Norris y uh, empecé aprendiendo español cuando tenía nueve años y cuando estaba en grado cinco. Um, I really like learning a new language because it reveals things in my own world, in my own country, that I wouldn't have normally seen or been able to experience. Hola, mi nombre es Alex y he hablado español desde que era un bebé. One thing I love about speaking Spanish is having access to many more cultures and uh, lots of different media, such as music. Hola, me llamo Jean Riggins y empecé a aprender el español cuando tenía cinco años. I love learning and speaking Spanish because it enables me to communicate with a lot of people. I really like seeing the similarities between English and Spanish and it's really fun. Uh, bonjour, um, je m'appelle Carrie Joe Gulgushev et j'ai commencé à étudier la langue française quand j'étais, je pense, 7 ans. Hola, me llamo Sarah Riggins. Empecé a aprender español en grado uno. I'm so glad I know Spanish because when I went to Spain, I was able to make friends and communicate with the locals, which I really enjoy. Salut, hola, Jambo. Je m'appelle Feza Wembo. Je suis né et grandi dans une famille qui parle français. Et uh, l'anglais, je l'ai appris en 2017 quand je suis venu ici aux États-Unis. And now, I'm glad that I can speak five languages, which are English, French, Portuguese, Lingala, and Swahili. Thank you. Hola, uh, me llamo Ben Cox y empecé a aprender español en grado 5. Um, and I'm just so thankful to be able to learn another language that allows me to communicate with others. Um, and learning Spanish has let me see languages in general in a whole new light. Bonjour, je m'appelle Brita. Nara Mutsenitra Brita. I learned English when I came here in the United States. That was five years ago, which means that English is my third language. And also, I speak Hurundi and French. Um, 
because I wouldn't know when I started to speak Kirundi or French because I've been speaking both of those languages since I was little. And also, all this is the benefit of speaking all these languages that I get to talk to different people, and it's just great. <laughs> Thank you. Applause, please. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. It is so energizing to hear the voices of our students and to hear their stories and want to send a, extend a special thank you to Melianne, to Elsa, and to Lloyd for sharing their stories with us, to all the students that are receiving um, the Seal of Biliteracy, uh, to our panelists for taking the time to celebrate um, these wonderful, amazing students. And I think I speak on all of our behalf that we miss seeing you in person. Uh, we are so excited for your future. And um, please don't, don't forget us. Don't forget your language, your culture. And uh, we are behind you 100%. So uh, we will open up. That concludes uh, this afternoon's ceremonies. Uh, we invite you to rush the stage. Uh, we will open up the chat room to uh, all of our attendees. So feel free, attendees, to um, write your remarks and your congratulations to these students as well. Uh, that concludes um, our recording as well. And uh, we will stick around for just a few minutes and um, look forward to, to sharing a few moments with our students. Thank you all very much. Have a good evening. Thank <laughs> you.